This may not be 11 secret herbs and spices, but it's tasty. Mmm, smells like old feet. Next step, have a drink. Turn, chug, dump them into the center of that vortex. <laughs> oh. G'day, I'm Shuey. Welcome to Smoked Barbecue Sauce, where we want to help you improve your barbecue game. Today, I'm going to be making crispy buffalo wings with a hot sauce and a blue cheese dipping sauce that are guaranteed to be a hit at your next party. Now, if you do like this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and share it with your friends. But the best thing you can do for yourself is hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And that way you'll be notified every time we upload new content. So let's get into it. This may not be 11 secret herbs and spices, but it's tasty. So we are gonna need to add some seasoning to these wings not only to add a bit of flavor, but there's an ingredient in there that's going to help crisp them up. That being aluminium free baking powder, not baking soda, they're different, don't confuse them. So into a bowl, we just wanna put one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of finely cracked black pepper. And just mix that up, and put that aside until we're ready to coat our wings. It's not going to be buffalo wings unless we have some chicken wings. So I've brought just over two pounds of whole chicken wings. And I do like to separate them into flats and drummies. And it's fairly simple. You just have to find where the knuckle is and go through it with a sharp knife. Tip comes off. And the same, you've got the flatty and the little drummy. And you should be able to just get your knife, slice in. It's that easy. And you've separated them. Turn, chun! Wings are all separated. Now what I like to do is dry them off with some paper towel. The drier we can get this skin, the crispier it's gonna get. And with, buff with, bu with buffalo wings, we want them crispy, yeah? So flip them over, dry that skin. And remember, you're dealing with chicken, that's why I'm wearing gloves. And through every process of this, I'll wipe everything down, okay? So you don't need to see me film that, but I do actually wipe everything down. So, they're nice and dry. Next step is, into a bowl. Add some seasoning which we already made. So now we just want to start covering the wings in that seasoning. Just try and get a nice even coat. Don't put all of it in there in one hit. Put some of it in, mix them up. Sprinkle some more in. Mix it up. Now the amount of seasoning was for 2.2 pounds of chicken. Just remember that. So if you're gonna cook more wings, more seasoning. And remember, this is gonna help crisp up that skin. I'll be using a 22 inch Weber kettle for today's cook and I'm also going to be using a kettle cone vortex to ramp up the heat in the Weber. So 
how I'll achieve that is by three quarter filling a chimney starter of briquettes, lighting it up. Once they're fully ashed over, I'm gonna dump them into the center of that vortex. And I'm just gonna put the lid on, make sure all the vents are wide open, and I'm gonna give that grill about five to 10 minutes to warm right up. Well, it's been 10 minutes, so the Weber is definitely hot enough that thermometer is going right around to the other side. So it's time to get our chicken wings on. Now, when cooking with a kettle cone or vortex, it ramps up the heat, pushes it to the top of the lid, and then that heat falls down around the outer edge or the most outer edge of the grill. So that's where we want to place our chicken because we're effectively going to air fry it. So let's get our chicken on. So just start putting the wings around that outermost part. And get a nice sizzle on the grill. And we are actually going to let these cook for 45 minutes. That will ensure that we get crispy skin and we will also have them fully cooked. Just leave a little bit of room between each wing so they get nice airflow and then we can put the lid back on. If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent actually creates a hot spot as that oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vent around our food and then forced out that lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 15 minutes during the cook. Cheers. Sometimes hot wings have a really good kick to them. So it's nice to have another sauce just to cool things down but also add another flavor profile into the cook. So into a food processor, add five ounces of blue cheese, a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise, a quarter of a cup of sour cream, one garlic clove crushed, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now give that a blitz, this is going to get noisy. So we are going to need some hot sauce to go with these wings, otherwise they're just wings and they're not buffalo wings. So into a saucepan we're just going to put half a cup of unsalted butter and just let it melt over a nice low heat. Also add half a cup of hot sauce. I'm using Frank's hot sauce because it's readily available. Now I can just start giving that a whisk. And pretty much once that butter is all melted, it would have warmed up the hot sauce as well. And we can um, take it off the heat and it's ready for our wings. The chicken wings are ready, so it's as easy as grabbing your favorite set of tongs, giving them a twirl before you get them off the grill. That's right, just get them all off. Oh, crispy wings, crispy wings. Now, let's add that hot sauce. Oh, look at that. So, just give them a nice jumble around in that hot sauce. <laughs> this smells incredible. Now, buffalo wings would have to be a staple at most get-togethers these days. And if you can produce a recipe that is this good and this easy to make, you are surely, surely going to be 
the king of buffalo wings in your circle. How good does that look? Does it need more sauce? I think it does. Money shot. Oh, ho. beautiful. I'm not waiting any longer. Um, the smell of these. Oh, mmm. They don't need to be fried. And I love blue cheese sauce. Oh, that is. If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website where you'll find a wealth of information on barbecue. Cheers, once again, thanks for watching.